Hey guys, uh, back again. I uh, just did a little bit more on the Star Wars stuff. And push Laha Sun back a little bit, give me some more room so I can work on this so it's not so uh, so crowded. But um, I'm hoping to do at least a company a week so I can get these done. Um, so what I'm doing now is, I don't know what I'm going to do with those guys. What I'm doing now is I'm, I'm trying to get this company done. And I just got done, uh, last night watching the eighth season, fifth episode of Game of Thrones. Uh, I wasn't really watching it when it first came out, and then um, I was bored one day, and I went upstairs, and I turned on HBO, and I saw Game of Thrones, and I watched a couple of, a couple of episodes of the first season, and in all honesty, it was kind of like slow and boring, and it's like, wow, this, this kind of really sucks. So then I moved on to something else, and then I ended up watching an animated history, Game of Thrones, and it intrigued me. It had a lot of battles in it. Uh, it was like a lot of medieval warfare going on in it. And I said, you know what, this actually kind of piqued my interest, so yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. So last year... I binge-watched Game of Thrones, and I was really into it. So, and I, I really felt for, uh, for Daenerys, for Danny, Daenerys, Mother of Dragons. So I really felt for her. And um, this, this last episode, man, I don't, um, and it kind of like, I honestly thought that Daenerys and Jon Snow were going to sit on the throne together, but um, I don't think that's going to be happening. Uh, my guess, it's going to be Sansa. Um, it's tough. I don't know if Jon Snow's gonna get his head lopped off, that Danny's gonna kill him. Or, Arya might kill Danny. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm confused now. Um, with Danny losing her mind and just wiping out King's Landing, killing all those people inside and stuff, and with... Arya seeing it, I think, I think she's going to kill Danny. I really do. I think she's going to wipe her out. Because uh, she's, she's on a mission now. You know, it's sad, but, you know, uh, Cersei brought it on. She got everybody killed. Um. But it's like, man, Danny didn't have to lose her mind. I, I know she's all by herself, but she's really not all by herself. She still has people. And what did she expect? I mean, she's so taken by this throne that she's losing perspective of what she started out to do. And now she's lost her mind. She's become, she's become the Mad Queen. And I wonder if John, John or Ari is going to kill her. Sansa is safe up there in the north. And I think she'll be the last one. You know, so... It's hard to tell what's going to happen. But I thought it was interesting. I mean... Danny leveled King's Landing. Destroyed it. In killing all the people. I'm pretty sure that 
there are some people left, but it's almost like watching uh, Pompeii get wiped out. So I'm real curious as to what happens. Um, so, Tarion's left. Jamie and Cersei are done for. I don't think they're going to survive. If they do, it'll be weird, but they had the whole city come down over their heads, so I don't think there's any possibility of them getting out. Um, of course, the eunuch is gone now. And maybe he was right all along. Maybe he saw Danny losing her mind and figured, hey, that was it, right? So, I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. It's, it's got me, it's got me wondering what's going to happen. Um, I just don't get it, though. You know, it's like a lot of people are saying it's sloppy writing. It almost like they're, they're trying to they're trying to put a whole season into about four or five episodes, which that doesn't really work out. There's no plot development or anything like that. Even though you got seven seasons of plot development, you know. I think that Jamie knew that Cersei was going to die. He didn't want her dying alone. That's why he went back. A lot of people say, you know, he came so far and he just gave up. Yeah, I think he always loved his sister. And I think that because of all the things he'd done, he didn't deserve to be happy. And I think that um, that Jamie wanted to, to be with his sister at the end. He loved her, you know, as far as that goes, but a little strange. But he did, he loved her. And... Uh, he wanted to be with her at the end, which is exactly what happened. And then we got the Hound and his brother fighting to the death, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, he talked Arya going home and not becoming what he, he became. But I think the death in the city, I think she's really going to lose it on Danny. And it's going to be either John or Sansa that are going to take the throne. If, if they even do it. Because there's nothing left of the Red Keep. There's really King's Landing is in ashes. Most of the people are dead. And I think John... When the troops surrendered, when they rang the bell to surrender, Danny knew that, well, at least she didn't even give it a chance, but she figured she's going to rule out of fear. So she's going to wipe this city out and make everybody afraid of her and a dragon. Which is not going to work because someone will assassinate her. Someone, someone is going to take her out. And I wonder who that's going to be. And John, I don't know if John's going to die like his, like his uncle, his stepfather, or whatever you want to call him. But um, I don't know if Danny's going to cut his head off because she know he is the rightful king, the rightful heir to the throne, the throne of bone. But um, I don't know. Let's see, there's a lot. It's, Crazy how things turn out. So that's Game of Thrones. You know. I wish they I wish they didn't try to squeeze so much into one episode one one like 
five or six episodes in one season when it took when it should be somewhere between twelve and thirteen. You know. But I guess the end result is that, right? When you flush it down the toilet, you just flush it down the toilet. So that's what they're doing. But I like it. I mean, I, I still watch it, and I, I still like it. I think this season's okay. Um, a lot of people don't. But then, remember, guys, a lot of people don't like Star Wars. Remember when they came out with all those other episodes, and it's, oh, they suck. They suck. And it's like, okay, can't please all the people all the time. You can please some of the people some of the time. So, just be thankful that you had eight seasons of a pretty cool series, you know. I liked it. I enjoyed it. And I, my only regret is that I wish they didn't rush through this season. I would have enjoyed watching another 12 or 13 episodes this season and just to build up and see where things go and not just end so quickly, you know. But it is what it is. Wow, okay. These KGL, man, I'm telling you. I haven't painted in a long time. Been doing a lot of work. You know. Double shifts. Got hit big time. But it's tough getting motivated, you know. You, you, you flame out sometimes. And it takes you a while to stop painting again and get in the groove. You know, I've been trying to get through those comic books and get rid of some of them and get some extra money. But it's like anything, you know, you're always fighting for time, so. Try to do the things you love to do, you know. So that's it. I mean, I think we've been lucky. What do we have? We got the Avengers End Game that came up, and then we got Game of Thrones, you know, which is pretty cool. Um, so there's a lot of stuff happening. I think I think for entertainment wise, it's not bad. My son keeps asking me, you know, keep those videos going. So I'm, I'm trying, guys. I know, I know I'm behind. And I, sometimes it's boring. But, hey, everyone has different likes, right? Uh, what I want to do is I want to finish this company up. So I, I'm actually, I'm done. I'll be done two companies today. I'm going to jump in the shower and maybe head to the antique store. Why? I don't know. i got enough stuff here, but... Just curiosity, see what's out there. Um, get out of the house for a little bit, you know, besides working. and It's been raining and kind of gloomy and gray. So I just want to get out and see what's going on. Um, I picked up a pretty cool Iron Man comic book the other day. It came in the mail. Uh, if you give me two seconds, I'll finish this guy's footwear up and I'll show you what I picked up it's a uh, there we go here we go here we are guys um, this is Tales of Suspense Whoop. Tales of Suspense right there. Um, number 45. And it is the first appearance of Happy Hogan and Pepper Potts. Jack Frost, full page ad for the Avengers. The only thing I don't like about encapsulated comics is you can't get inside to look at it. So you got to get yourself another copy. Maybe a beta copy. But um, they're pretty expensive. Uh, this is the old Iron Man suit. And... I really like the uh, Tales of Suspense stuff. I think it's pretty cool. 
and uh, I got a whole stack of them. So I, I've grabbed a few of these. So we'll see what happens with them. And uh, that was a pretty good buy. So I've got six more guys to do for this KGO company. And then um, I'll take a break. I really should go to the gym and run. I'm, I, can't, I see myself in the video and I'm good, so good. Good God, I'm gaining weight. I'm getting a, look like I'm three months pregnant. So I need to watch what I'm eating. You know? uh, well, age march is on. There's nothing you can do about that, but boy, I'll tell you. Uh, in my profession, you can't afford to slack off, and I am just getting tired. I want to say it's time to retire, but I've seen the retirement stuff, guys, and it's like, it sucks. You end up doing the same stuff for half the pay. And you die right after. It's like, give me a break. All my buddies, they retire and then they pass away. It's like, come on, man. Really? So I think you're better off just doing what you like to do and keep working. You know? Unless you're independently wealthy. As much toys as I buy, you think I was. Well, so we're almost into 20 minutes of me boring the crap out of you. So I'm trying to get this black done. I don't know whether I want to get a hand solo for this Imperial Salt, this Star Wars stuff. I mean, it looks cool, 